now you have your clips that are shown right here and you've added them to your timeline and you have a couple of breaks between the clips and now you want to add transitions from one clip to the other clip and between clips in here now we're going to look at it in terms of transitions and how you can take advantage of transitions on adobe premiere element to be able to improve on the effectiveness of your engagement in your lesson or presentation or your videos that you post on various platforms and now for you to do that here are a couple of ways to gain access to transitions on this particular space now to gain access to transitions what you do is you move to the right side you have a column that shows you different features and once you go to this particular feature or icon you have these to reveal the transitions that are out there couple of things to be aware of as follows we have two categories of transitions either in video or on your format and for the video here you're going to be playing around with the timeline that is assigned for the videos while audio you're going to be playing around with these transitions for this particular timeline at this point we're not going to look at audio transitions we're just going to focus on video transitions now this particular next stage here is assigned for different types or categories of transitions we have either show all or you have specific types of transitions that are available or you can navigate to the left or to the right to specific categories that are present on this particular transition stage another way to search for specific transitions is by using this magnifying glass right here and you can type whatever transition that you want in this case you can just type zoom and once you type zoom we have zoom features that are present right over here for example now once you have this navigating to assigned the next stage now is to look at specifically on how all transitions appear when you assign them to any specific space between clips or before or after a clip so let's begin to preview a transition before you insert it between before after clips what you have to do is just click on any one of the transition of interest and once you click on it you're going to see the preview right there remember that a represents the clip before and while b represents the clip after or next to the previous clip so those are the things to keep in mind when it comes to previewing a transition before you insert it in the timeline the next step is to add a transition to between clips and now for you to do that let's say we pick the zoom feature here we click hold and drag to the specific between clips that is of interest and what you see is that the top horizontal line is highlighted gold when you're still trying to drag it to the between clips now as soon as you release you actually have the color change to a little bit of a cyan blue and in here we have a pop-up category that shows you specific settings that relates to the transition adjustments now this is where a couple of things gets interesting because you can not only use this but also you can just use the top here to manipulate the transition in terms of the time and so for time all you do is the duration you, if it is going to take two seconds to transition from a clip to b clip between you go for that for other more options you can click on that and we can see many ways you can align in this case we have three ways to align we have either left we have between or to the right this is how it looks like when it is at the left once you click left and apply this particular transition moves far to the left to reactivate your settings for this particular transition all you do is you double click that particular bar and you can click on more and continue if it's between as it was before you click and now it's between the two clips once you double click and you click on more move to the right you can get everything fully to the b clip now another way to manipulate this is by double clicking 
click on more between clips apply and you can adjust the time it spends for transitioning from a to b i know for you to do that we have this particular bracket with an arrow between symbol and in here you can drag the transition to the left and you can drag this to the right and you can increase the time it spends transitioning from a to b and this is how it looks like when you have this actually set up in terms of the preview on your screen and so these are the things to be aware of when it comes to moving to the left and to the right and you can see that the duration has changed from two seconds to now four seconds you can increase five or you can decrease back to two and once you hit on apply it's back to how it was before in addition when you scroll down to this particular category we actually have a play that allows you to see the transition properly and in here you see the preview of the transition from a to b and the most important thing here is how you want it to be delayed as you see right here from start to end point you can either adjust the start point here for a by click hold here and then drag to whatever time and what you see is that once you scroll down as the time increases we actually have this particular knob to move to the right and what happens is that the transition from a to b will be really fast as you move to this particular time period here or you can just adjust it right here so what you see is that this preview tells you when the change is going to happen if it's right here this is how it's going to look like and once you drag this particular time knob we see that it is more around the b region at this particular time here compared to when you actually have it here and it's still in the a transition period likewise for the b transitions as you move before a what you see is that when you move it it's still within the a region and then when you drag it more to the right it's more appearing in the b region so those are the things to be aware of when it comes to the start end point in terms of play and in terms of left between and right clips and most importantly when you want to delete this particular transition all you do is you click on this trash can and you automatically remove this transition from your timeline now you have an understanding of transition settings we are now going to apply it to this particular time frame and in order for we to do that we are going to add our transitions to one two three spaces here and we are going to apply some of them to be between some of them before or after and we are going to jump right into it so in here we have the following drop down menu that tells us frequently used transitions and once you click on this here are the transitions that i've been using many times and so if you want to reuse them you can go for it otherwise if you want to go back to any of the ones that you feel pleases you like peel pages and many more or 3d explosions elements you can go for that but in this case we're going to stick with frequently used in here we we'll start off with what we used before which is the zoom in once you apply that this is how it looks like and next part is going from this particular radar image of this particular rover to now what it reveals when it is now in black and white topography of this particular mass surface we're now going to see how this is going to be enhanced when we add transitions and now for we to do that all we can do is just add this here in this case random inverts to this particular section right here we can put it before or after and to do that all we do is click on more add to the right and once you hit apply it's more to the right and so once you click on that this is how it's going to look like in terms of that transition and next here is the final part which shows from the colored version of the topography to me <laughs> enough for you to accomplish this all we just do is use cottons 
like for example you can pick any transition of your choice and once you hit on apply you can actually go for that and this is how it looks like when it is in the cotton transition state now another thing here is if you don't feel that this transition is actually the best transition for this particular step all you do is right click on this particular rectangle box here and you can delete it and then you can go back here and look for other transitions that might be of great relevance that for example show all and go down to the picture wraps and you have this following example which is stars actually moving from down to up once you click hold and drag to this particular category we're gonna have in this case more options that allows you to add either left between or right clip you can put it on the right side and most importantly when you scroll down as well you see something quite interesting you can actually reverse it in this case it's going to go from top to down instead of from down to up and once you click on it and hit apply we actually have this actually shown right here and we are going to see it going from up to down right there now another thing here to keep in mind is in terms of moving an already established transition clip one of them to a different timeline and once you do that what do you think is going to happen to the transition do you think it's going to be maintained or is it going to be deactivated yep it's going to be deactivated as what we see right here once you move that particular clip what happens is that you're going to see that there is no transition that is revealed right here and so if you drag this back to how it was before do you think that it is going to reactivate the transition uh, not really at all what happens here is that it's going to be the way it was before you add the transition so in order for you to introduce your transition all you have to do is just go to frequently used and once you go there we're going to add our cotton and then once you hit and apply we will be able to re-establish that right here so i hope you found this really informative in terms of how transitions works you know for you to improve the engagement of your material digitally and i hope to see you on the next one if you think there's another thing that i missed please drop down into the comment section and let me know your thoughts all the same stay smart as always and believe in yourselves